Google has finally given us a sneak peek into Google's next flagship smartphone. We have come to expect only the best from Google, and this time it seems like they are not going to disappoint us. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to tell you about what Google has in store for us with regard to the Pixel 7. Google today introduced the Pixel 6a phone, as well as the $199 Pixel Buds Pro headphones, and teasers for the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro phones, and a new Pixel tablet at its I.O. conference. This is a bolder strategy than Google has employed in recent years. The Pixel tablet, due in 2023, will be Google's first Android tablet since the Nexus 9 in 2014. Google released Chrome OS for the Pixel Slate in 2018, but said a year later that it would stop producing tablets. We are just going to focus on the Pixel 7 for now. So, first things first, when is the phone expected to come out? While Samsung and Apple released their flagship phones in late August or early September, Google releases its Pixels around the middle of October, with an in-store debut at the end of the month. Google has announced that the Pixel 7 family will be released this autumn, with an expected release date in the middle of October, as per the company's usual schedule. One of the nicest aspects of the Pixel 6 family was the shockingly low pricing, particularly for the non-pro model. The Pixel 7 Duo's pricing has yet to be announced by Google, but we estimate them to be around $600 for the Pixel 7 and $900 for the Pixel 7 Pro. This is the projected price for the base versions, which clearly increases as the vehicle becomes more luxurious. Google recently improved the camera technology on the Pixel 6 series after years of utilizing the same sensor, so we don't expect another chance as soon with the Pixel 7. The main camera sensor in the Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro will be a 50MP and measure 1 to 1.3 inches, which is on par with or larger than most other flagship phones. And, in principle, the larger the sensor, the higher its performance. The 12MP ultra-wide camera on both phones is believed to be identical. The Pixel 7 will simply feature these two cameras, but the Pixel 7 Pro will have a third, periscope-style telephoto camera with 4x zoom, similar to the prior model. The Pixel 7 Pair will employ a second-generation Tensor chip, according to Google. The codename for this new CPU is GS201, according to the previous disclosures. This unknown chip is a development of Google's Tensor, the company's first homegrown mobile processor, which was featured in the Pixel 6. We hope the new GS201 bridges the gap between Tensor's outstanding ML performance and the competition's single and multi-core CPU performance. We don't have any official word on RAM, but we expect the Pixel 7 will stick with 8GB of RAM instead of the Pixel 7 Pro's 12GB. As for the storage, it seems like Apple is sticking to the 128GB capacity for the base models. The Pixel 7 and 7 Pro retain their iconic glass black finish and camera bar across the back of the phone, which is instantly recognized. For the camera bar, Google goes with a single color for the glass back and a polished metal housing in a complementary hue. This implies that the white Pixel 7 Pro, for example, will have a silver camera bar, whilst the gold Pixel 7 will have a champagne tone camera bar. Three colors are expected to come out. One is black, then white, and the final grayish color. The screen of the Pixel 7 is expected to be around 6.2 inches and allows streaming at 1080p with 90Hz OLED flat. The new Android 13 operating system will undoubtedly be the most notable feature of the Pixel 7 series. The Pixel line is known for being the first to release new Android versions, and the Pixel 7 is expected to follow suit. Finally, the Pixel 7 will likely feature a lesser battery than its Pixel 6 predecessor's 4600mAh cell, but the Pixel 7 Pro will likely have a 5000mAh-ish battery capacity, similar to the Pixel 6 Pro. Now we will have to wait to get our hands on this amazing phone. So, that is all the time we have for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon to remain updated about all our future videos. Till then, see ya!